We have a young black man hanging from a tree in North Carolina. The family of a black man found dead hanging from a tree in North Carolina says the death of Javian McGee should not be written off as a suicide. Their attorney says the cause of death has not been determined at this time. It is a case that has sparked national attention. And joining me now to talk about Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes. And Khalif, you listened to the news conference today. And the family, they're not accepting what the answer is from the sheriff that this was a suicide. Uh, immediately, the family didn't do much talking, right? Only a couple people spoke. They didn't take questions. They made statements about who he was and how they felt about this process. But the attorneys, they were laying the foundation that, listen, we're not going to take for granted what the officer says blindly and say that, listen, what you're saying is true, specifically because you only showed the one video that has been released. They believe that there's other things that will contribute to this individual's has contributed to this individual's death and that they have other rationale and or reasons for buying a rope. Um, they mentioned in the press conference that as a truck driver, you have a master key that can open all the doors and because of that master key, you may dry a rope to tie your, your, your um, truck door down. His father actually is a truck driver, so he was in the background kind of saying, yes, he agreed with that. My father actually is a truck driver. I followed up with him and asked him that same question. Those are the types of things that truck drivers would do um, to ensure that no one can get in to kind of extra secure your hub to ensure that no one breaks in in the middle of the night. It seems like there's a lot more that we don't know from both sides of this because the family is pretty adamant that this wasn't a suicide, but the sheriff's office is releasing that video that shows he did buy the rope. So there's a lot of link there and a lot of uh, support for that. You would think as soon as you saw that, that that's the causal connection, like, okay, he's in the pr process of purchasing this rope and then he's being hung by a rope. You would think those two things would equal suicide. And the, what the attorneys were attempting to do was to spell b both of those things and saying this is in the process of an investigation, that more things need to be conducted that transparency is extremely important but we got to take it to social media if we can if there was no social media backlash if there was no social media outpouring um when this immediately hit there would have been no conversation about any of this i mean this is getting national attention based off of social media based off of the TikTok and the instagram posts that mentioned this happening here in north carolina and north carolina having a deep history with lynchings and hangings in its past this was something a connection and i commend at least the sheriff's department and um, any officer that was involved with this from coming out but as the law enforcement, I mean, as the attorney said, they want to ensure that the investigation doesn't just stop with today's announcement. And you know, a lot of times that law enforcement will hold back on things. They're not going to tell you exactly what they have if there is something, but they've been, like I said, they've been adamant that this was a suicide, but could this be the case where they do develop something else that they just haven't been told us, but because the family has been so vocal, they might force them to play their hand a little bit. Uh, and I think that's what you do. When you hire an attorney like this, look, you're not facing any criminal charges. So a family will go out and hire an attorney specifically to push law enforcement to do whatever they're asking them to do. That would be, you know, filing court orders and then asking the court to force them to do something or having press conferences and getting the will of the people to get behind them and support them. But in this situation, I can say that we, we don't know everything right now. And it sounds like both sides know more than we know as the public. It seems like when they were having that press conference, even though the attorneys didn't want to say it, they made it sound like they had saw something else other than what was released today. And on the law enforcement side, they were saying, listen, this is open and shut. What we've released is it and that's it. So I can tell you that right now I left that press conference thinking I have more questions and answers. Mm -hmm. However, right. I am happy to know that at least something is out. So you're not just sitting there waiting. Did he buy the rope? Did he get out? Like, those are the things that you want to know. Now we're just waiting to see more. You want closure for the family and, and, and to button this up and have no questions uh, out there like we have right now. Quickly, right? I'll say closure. Yeah. They said that at the press conference that all the family wants is closure. Yeah. Chief Legal Analyst Kelly Froge, thank you.